Hey YouTube, so today I have a real treat for you. Yeah, it's gonna be a quick video though. This is a GMC Envoy. And the issue with the car is, amongst the other issues that I've already fixed on the car, I didn't make a video of that because I have a video on how to replace a radiator. I have a video on how to do wheel bearings. Different car, same process. I didn't feel I need to do a video on that. But this little video right here is going to be really good for you because this video is going to be more on the comfort level of what you need because an average person doesn't really care about how their car is running it seems but what they do care about is do the heat work does the air conditioner work and does the um radio work the re order varies by a person but anyway on this particular car this is a gmc envoy and it has um, the dual temperature control for the left side, right side. And the issue is on the driver's side, it's blowing out cold. On the passenger side, it was blowing out hot. So what controls that is a blend door motor, actuator motor that goes over on the side here. And this is what it looks like here. Uh, call your local parts store, they'll be able to tell you you know the part name or well, the part number and everything but anyway the problem with this and like i said it's going to be a quick video the problem with this is where this screw is located okay you see that second screw right there all right so you have one there that you can easily reach but you have another one there okay that you can't reach and the problem is this piece here well it actually goes like that okay so when that's in there as you can see, you have no access to that one bolt. Now that bolt is a, uh, what's that say, seven thirty seconds bolt, okay? Once you cut that brace out, what you'll need to do is get you a saw, kind of like that. You know, I love this little thing because it's like a knife, actually like a hot knife going through butt. You get a good blade. And you need to cut that right there and right there. That way you have easy access to get your socket on there. Once you get your socket on there, you can remove that nut, excuse me, that bolt, that little screw bolt, whatever you want to call it. You can remove that. And then once you remove that, now you'll be able to pull that blend door motor off. Okay? It'll just pop right out. See that if you want to avoid that i'll have to play with it a little bit once i put my camera down but if you want to avoid that okay you can even come down here and cut even farther down there as a matter of fact just make it easy on yourself cut right there and cut up there there's a wiring harness that's back here you want to make sure you push that wiring harness back out of the way so that you don't cut any wires before you take this off Okay, you can test it, it'll be plugged in. And what you'll do is you'll turn this knob here. And when you turn that knob, you should see this wheel here spin eventually. That will spin around. If that's not spinning around, then that lets you know that's your problem. But if you still don't believe it, before you put the new one on, you can unplug it, the harness there, plug it in and stick it in there and see if that wheel turns. And if that wheel turns, then that guarantees and lets you know that yes, that was your issue. So, like I said, once you put that on there, then you'll have your uh, temperature control back on your passenger side. Now, on some cars, there's three of these motors, one on the left side, right side, and one in the center. Um, it's just going to depend on your vehicle, how it's set up. But usually when you have dual climate control, you'll have one on the left side and the right side. And these are the buttons that control that little motor there. If you turn that motor up it turns this piece here which opens and closes a flap on the inside of your cooling box which is right in there that's where all your heat and air conditioning and stuff goes through. so i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing on out of here and like i said i'm gonna make it easy on myself too i think and, and go ahead and finish cutting that out now um on the cut you know i use i had a long blade but you know you might want to use a shorter blade you know you, you, you know your equipment anyway um 
and then you cut that out. If you be real careful, you won't damage your plastic bezel. The only other way of doing that is taking the whole dashboard off, okay? So, if you got it like a whole day and a lot of time and nothing else to do, yeah, go ahead and take the whole daggone dashboard off. But if you wanna be smart about it, get it done fast and quick, boom, there you go. All you gotta do is cut that little piece right there so that you can get to that bolt. And then you just, boom, look at that. Pull it on out, I don't even need to cut that piece. See how easy that was? So that's the old one, you see how messed up it is over time, it, gets, it just don't work. So here's the new one. We'll put the new one in, cut it the angle, and you see it can only go on one way. You see that right there? See that right there? See, I wanna make sure it's kind of lined up before it goes on. And that's the, the valve that's turning, you know, from heat to air in there. All right, till next time, YouTube, if you have any questions, comments, please like, share, subscribe. Um, another little quick, easy trick. Okay, so before you go to put that on, you'll notice how this is indexed this way. All right, see that? Okay, you see how this one's indexed? So you could actually plug it in and turn it, turn the knob there turn the knob there and the new one will actually turn to the point of and index it right for you all right so and then also you see back there on the back it's only going to go in one way you see that right there yeah so probably better to turn it over that way and index it that way see 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 that one is turned that way and this one's turned slightly up so i'll plug it in and turn it index it right and then i'll put it on there and then we'll be done if you have any questions comments um please like share subscribe thanks for watching um if you need auto service that's the info yeah that's the info right there i'm real i'm live not just on the internet you can call me and we actually work on cars <laughs> most days some days i don't want to but you know kind of like doing the video stuff better you know but uh anyway uh, thanks for watching please like share subscribe and if you have a particular video or something that you would like to see let me know and i'll be more than happy to get that on for you um this particular vehicle we did wheel bearings and uh, radiator and stuff like that but like i said it's pretty straightforward if you want to know how to do that look through my channel i've got um, other videos on that as well also check um, both my channels i have two channels salem taxi and artistry photography as well both of those channels are me um and, oh yeah my tiktok i'm doing tiktok now yeah i know i know i know but i mean hey i've got some great shorts on there whole different categories um red thunder 833 on tiktok check me out please like share and subscribe and thank you for supporting me over the many years i really do appreciate that and again if there's anything that um you want to see or need some help on Hit me up. I'll respond. Have a great day.